Okay, hold on. It's monitored and recorded. Can I have your first and last name, please? Yes, Miss McCoy. This is Brian Aramaya. Jackson. Alright, thank you so much. Alright, thank you. Let me just pull up your information one moment. Alrighty, would you be able to confirm for me the property address? Um, yes, it's uh, Four Meadows. Okay, thank you so much. Um, let me see. And then would you also be able to confirm for me the loan number? Um, uh, loan number is... Uh, four six nine seven zero. Awesome, thank you so much. All right, so we did receive your uh, additional correspondence that you did send in. So we were able to confirm that you are uh, verified on this account as uh, the trustee. Well, the, the LLC is verified, but you just said it can definitely um, speak on behalf. Um, so, um, we're definitely really able to receive that information and everything. So, we can definitely send the documents, the note, and the um, deed of trust to the customer. Um, I just wanted to confirm um, with you and everything uh, what additional information is needed or uh, what sort of thing um, is the issue regarding the... Um, that document. The corporate assignment of that was. And Mary C. Whitfield. Exactly, the corporate assignment. Have we a guess mm -hmm. and identification so, on who that is? Yes, yeah, so that is, um, we are, that is with Chase. Um, she, that was in behalf of Chase. So it's the corporate assignment of Do You Trust? That is the transfer. Um, transfer of one uh, loan servicer to another. So that's just stating um, on behalf of Chase uh, the, who the loan servicer is. Um, in addition, um, you're able to confirm that yes, you are the trustee. Um, let me just confirm one moment. Uh, yes, so it's, uh, yeah, so the corporate assignment of deed of trust is just. Um, like title wise, confirming that we are now the um, servicer for the deed of trust and everything. Um, and the Mary Whitfield was the, the representative on, on behalf of Chase for that documentation. Okay. Uh, well, that's the issue because Mary C. Whitfield is playing two positions on this document. She's saying she's on behalf of Chase, but she's also saying she's on behalf of MERS. Um, let me see. She's the assistant secretary for MERS. Exactly. I do see that. Uh, I am able to confirm that. I see that on the document as well. Um, and so is, is, is that the issue that, th that she's on uh, both well, sides? Well, the issue is uh, the original deed of trust that this document is referring to, Mary C. Whitfield is nowhere on there. So if she's not on the original document, who gave her power to be on this new document? Chase did. No, this no, no, is, is, this is not, stating not, that it's MERS. changing to Chase. She, she's came in as she was MERS. She can't be two people. She can't be for MERS and Chase. Okay. That's a conflict of interest. 
MERS is listed as a beneficiary on the deed of trust. So as the trustee, the trustee only has power to transfer the property or do anything. MERS wouldn't have no power to do that. Certainly not Mary C. Whitfield if she didn't sign the original document. Only the trustee would. Are you able to see the original deed of trust? Yes, I am able to see the original deed of trust. Do you see the original um, trustee named on there? So you see that Alan B. Polinsky is named as the trustee. But if you go to the last page of the document, are you able to go to the very last page? Which document? Of the deed of trust. The one that was sent? Yes, the deed of trust. The deed of trust. Did you see Alan B. Polinsky uh, listed as? Let's see one moment. Yeah, I see The, the one that was sent or the for the, for the original deed of trust? The original deed of trust. That's one of the cool Yes, the original deed of trust. Okay, let's see. No, so it signed as only the Jackson and Otto Scott. Exactly. So the trustee never signed to acknowledge anything or accept any type of fiduciary responsibility. That's why they substituted the trustee, and now there's an actual real trustee on file who has accepted the role. So what I'm trying to point out is there was no signature from nobody from Chase Bank on that document. Certainly was no Mary C. Whitfield. Are you following me? On the original the address? Yes, ma'am. So we do have it under the the address. Um the lenders AmeriFirst Financial. Um, We're not uh, talking about what's stated true. on there. We're so, talking about signature. You know, contracts have to have what's called meeting of the minds or who was present at this event when it took place. And nobody was present. So, so nobody, it was AmeriFirst Financial. No, there was no agent. I'm sorry? No agent on a, no agent on behalf of AmeriFirst even signed the document. So the signed document is signed by the borrowers, 
And it, we do show on the page after the, the notarized, um, the notary signature with the notary and everything, that the lender is shown as a mayor first financial, who was the um, people who closed the loan, that's the company that closed the loan. And um, then JP Morgan Chase is now servicing the loan. We hear what you're saying, but where there's no record of any person signing on behalf of those companies that you're talking about. There has to be people, agents, representatives involved to take authority or to be given authority. That's what the issue. Mary C. Whitfield. Where is Mary C. Whitfield coming from? She was nowhere listed on these original documents. MERS is listed, right? Referenced. Alan B. Polinski is referenced. Uh, yes, sir. But no, nobody signed on behalf of MERS. No agent, no representative. No agent or representative on behalf of the lender. No agent or representative on behalf of the trustee. So, what we're saying is this corporate assignment, what gives them authority to sign if they was not a part of the original agreement? That's the issue. We just can't you know, go and sign documents and record them on the county record. That's a crime. Are you following me? Somebody has recorded a, they, they, they recorded a fraudulent document on the county records is the issue. Because Mary C. Whitfield had no authority to sign on behalf of nobody. Okay. So the issue is is the um, corporate assignment confirming if it is a valid document and confirming the authority where the 30 came from, that there sort of thing. There you go. Um, now, even uh, even the, the documents I sent you, uh, this claiming MERS was the servicer and all that good stuff, even MERS on their own documents say they don't even have no power to assign or, or have any rights in these transactions. So that's where we're trying to figure out where did Mary C. Whitfield get her authority if she has no authority through MERS? MERS was listed as a servicer exactly, before sir. before Chase Bank became involved. So MERS would have to have gotten their authority from somewhere to give their authority to someone else is what we're trying to get at here. Exactly, yes, sir. Um, so, um, so it's the confirmation of the corporate assignment. If it is a... Um, is it a lawful assignment? Legal. Yes. Is it a lawful exactly. legal assignment? Yes, sir. And uh, we're just speaking from, you know, we're, we're real estate investors, so we're very particular about documentation, and we understand that um, there's elements to a contract for it to be enforceable, and for us to perfect or protect our interest in property, we always perfect our interest. And we went to this transaction with this property and we noticed these documents was not correct. So we immediately brought it to the attention of the parties involved. And we also let the uh, assistant DA of the county be aware of this as well, because this is, could actually be a criminal offense. And we cannot find out who Mary C. Whitfield is. Exactly. Yes, sir. We can definitely, um, I would definitely have this uh, additionally reviewed for you. And um, I'm also going to be able to put... Um, you and the LLC on as a authorized trustee, yes. uh, as well as uh, make sure that those documentations are on the loan as well. Um, is there anything else that I can help you with at this time? Any other questions that you have for Chase? No, that would be it. If you could just get those, you know, um, answers to me, and, and that would be great. And we can kind of get this, you know, move forward and bypass it or whatever. So we can continue on with good year. Exactly, definitely. Yes, sir. Well, it'll be a wonderful rest of your day, and thank you for calling me back. Likewise, thank you. Bye bye.